Looking at this here, it seems that controls comes down here. It's probably hitting the one motor, then another motor, and the next on the daisy chain. Behind this metal bracket, that's where all the motor wires land. This is the daisy chain. So this cable comes in, looks like it's landing. So all the greens, all the whites, all the blacks, all the reds. Although that's gonna be uh, one from here and only two out. But it looks like, I have to look down there, but you can see that they got two cables going in. So it comes in, down to this one. Daisy chains up here. The other cable's gonna go to this motor, it looks like. And it does. And then it's gonna daisy chain up to this one. Which is probably why this is not connected. So there's a second cable here, I don't know why. Because only one comes up from the other motor, so. I don't know what the second one goes to, it could be communication. Uh, this terminating, terminating resistor probably right there. Terminating resistor, that's on the forest. RS-485, that's what that is, terminating resistors, I'm sure. Okay, so it looks like the wiring now makes sense. So this is just the end. Terminating resistor, and this to green is the end of the daisy chain for each pair of motors. A little tight squeeze in here. We got the, uh, so not EBM Paps, they're the other brand. Also seems to be a lot of German writing going on in here. So, got our DC signal enabled. This is the zero to 10, which is what they intend to use right here. And then this is a uh, ground and then the mod bus. These are all connected, which I connected by software with the RS-232 adapter connected to the, what they call RS-485 interface. The factory setting do not have it enabled to run off of this, which they call E1. That's your voltage input, analog input. <laughs> so I think it was looking for a signal through Modbus, which would come from an interpreter, you know, to BACnet. So they were not uh, set up for that. So I finally got their software connected, figured out how to get into that setting, changed it on a hunch. I was waiting for people to call me back with some info, but I did get it figured out. And then I was able to save that perimeter, perimeter for the whole motor. And then I could just dump it to uh, light motors now. I don't have to do too much. And just that, changing that one parameter really. Each motor is going to get these run, and everything else is set. Just needed to get it set for the. They just want to use regular analog input. Yeah, we got all the covers on. This is what we were working on. It looks small because I got this on widescreen, but yeah, it's got four of these, so in an array, so it will move some matter. Four of them, so I'm gonna start at address one and go to address four. Populate these four bad boys. And it seems that the control setup is set up for like mod bus speed control. I need zero to ten, and I have about five volts in there now. All right, address number four should run. Turn 
gonna speed down a little bit as I uh, start adding fans. April of the other game. Open the return since the uh, dampers are all closed. <laughs> For uh, both outside air and return air. Uh, yeah, these were synced. One of them should be open. Looks like something needs to be set up there. This got them both closed. Uh, if it's a single actuator, one of these should be open and one of these closed. Modulate the uh, Return air closed as the outside air open, so we'll just leave this open here. Going across the chilled water. Oh, yeah, this is a nice, freaking cool air right here. It's good. So, this is some fun here at 39M. Controls having some issues. I got some manual 2 to 10 wizardry with the 9 volt battery. Went to sleep. Let's see here. What we did last. So I had to change speed control and I had to change this perimeter. This was factory set for um, right here, I believe. Which is probably going through Modbus or whatever. So I just changed it to this one by E1, which is your 2 to 0 to 10 or 4 to 20. Save the perimeters so I can just dump into each additional motor. <laughs> so we can, uh, on fan number one, let's just check fan number one. So it's I think that's the speed. I have it turned down 1500 RPMs. 648 volts. <laughs> There's all the temperature of the IGBT. I chased the Ghost because I thought these were M EBM BAPS motors, but they're not. I found the wrong software trying to connect. Finally got this one. Got it all figured out. Finally. Just got to play with it. So basically, he's Air handlers all came from the factory. They thought they were going to run on 0 to 10 volts, but they wouldn't. I think they were ready for a command through the mod bus, which would be interpreted from BACnet, interpreted from their system here. Yeah, no go. They're trying to send a 0 to 10. It wouldn't run. So now we are good. <laughs> 